five, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted lowry base. And then we have letter D. So in this case, we need a net ionic equation just showing that CN minus is a bronsted lowry base. Now, Bronsted and Lowry were two scientists that independently came up with the same idea a long time ago, right? And they came up with that bases when you have an acid-base reaction. And I think that's just a huge thunder, if you guys heard that. It's dark and stormy over here. It's what time is it? Oh my god, it's, it's 1.26 a.m., guys, but <laughs> we're gonna keep going. All right, so anyway... Bronsted Lowry base. Bases except hydroniums, which is H. Plus. We will get into H pluses uh, being hydronium, and maybe I'll just write that here hydronium. But as of right now, just know that your Bronsted Lowry bases will always be accepting a hydrogen. And we write that in terms of a net ionic equation by having the base and the H plus on one side. That way they can come together and the base will accept. So we got CN minus plus H plus. Now, anytime you have a charged ion in a net ionic equation, that's always going to be aqueous. And also, since we're dealing with acids and bases, you're also going to be dealing with aqueous material. Now, since cyanide, which is CN minus, since that's not on my list of six strong bases, I'm going to be using the equilibrium yield sign. And now I'm ready to just use my rules. You're going to basically just have these come together, right? Just as one whole big acid. So generally, H's for acids are always going to be written in the front and then the rest of the elements. So I'll say H in the front, and then CN. You might have seen this compound once or twice before. But anyway, this is the acid. It's aqueous. And now we just have to make sure that we have the total charge. When you're going from a base to an acid, you always add one from your charge. So your CN was originally a negative one. So I'm going to say, okay, this was originally a negative one, but... Since I gained a H+, plus, I'm just going to add 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And that's it, guys. This is your final net ionic equation. And you are done. So hopefully this helped. Maybe I'll just pull this in. This is kind of annoying me. Okay, there we go. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And tell your friends, tell your classmates that this YouTube channel exists. We're trying to get to, I think, 20,000 20, subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. I can't believe an education channel would, you know, have that many subscribers. And it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye.